yesterday, the government led by the DCI unit really gave uh, or announced that they have already captured uh, the individual who was involved in killing and destroying bodies of people in Quarry, Quarry. And the response or how people heard the news is that almost 90 of people did find it very difficult to believe what the government was saying and they were very skeptical. And one will ask yourself, why would uh, people not appreciate that the government has caught a criminal and really congratulated, but instead uh, be skeptical of it? Remember even the newspapers printed uh, the headline in like asking a question, is this really the man? So it is was more of not believing what the government was saying. And uh, I think there are varied reasons which are justified why the people find it difficult to believe. And in this video, I want us to critically assess to see why people found it very difficult to believe that the government was actually selling to them a true narrative. So if you are new to our channel, please take a moment and hit the support button so that we can continue with this kind of conversation. Remember at the Socrata TV, we explore, discuss and discover the hidden stories shaping our political landscape. Now Kenya at the moment is at crossroads whereby uh, there may be even some other individuals, some dubious or some culprits who may take advantage of the current situation to also go on with their bad agendas. Remember, we have seen people looting people's shops in the midst of peaceful demonstrations. So in the same way, it is possible that there may be other forces also who take advantage of the situation. Now, the concern here is that we found or the government was able to find people who are murdered, who were uh, from varied reports, majorly women, and threw in the quarry. And it had uh, really enraged Kenyans, considering the fact that there had also been allegations of the government abducting people, people getting lost, and other ills being perpetrated that uh, made uh, people really not love or like what the government was doing. Now, by bringing uh, that issue of people bodies being thrown there, it was even um, uh, increasing the anger of people. And a few, or I think it was a day later, I think three days, two days later, the government came and said that it had caught up with the culprit. And the culprit had killed over 42 people. And the culprit has explained a lot of issues about the culprit. They also brought evidence. But people asked the question, how really? How? That was the big question. People are not really buying into the narrative of the uh, republic of, or the government. And uh, one will ask himself, assuming you are not to this country, why is it so? One of the reasons is this. At the current moment as we are here, there are a lot that is happening in this country. There are a lot that is also not happening, especially that which has to happen. So what is the more that is happening is that which should not be happening and vice versa. And among that which is happening is that people believe that the president is not telling them the truth or the government in general is not selling them the real agenda on the table, but it is saying that which benefits them and it's not in the interest of the people. And it has been very difficult to squash away that narrative in whichever way the government tried to do. So it, 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 using that same perspective, it will not be easy for you to believe the same government if it tells you another thing, unless you have done some uh, analysis to really uh, 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 assess if what they are saying is true. The other thing is that there have also been other killings where people have been killed. Uh, more so in the same way, some in not, not in the same way. Some have been killed in protest, some not even in protest. But the speed under which the perpetrator of the crime were arrested is not the same as this. 
So there is something very odd that has really happened in this, in the way this was dealt with. So people f asked this question, either the police uh, previously has been failing to do its work, if it can catch up with a criminal that fast, when it has been dragging over even one year to just catch up a criminal, either it has been doing it intentionally previously, or it is duping people, it is lying people, this is not the real criminal who really uh, did what they are claiming he did. And I think that is what uh, made the people fail to believe what the government said. And I think f this means a lot. This means a lot for a country that has completely lost the trust of people. And 90% of it find it very difficult to believe what comes from that government. I don't know which mechanism of, or which strategy that such kind of government can use to take back uh, the trust of the people. It is very difficult because and this is on a, an emotional level. It is, uh, it is not even at a logical level. It's an emotional level in the sense that even if you say something that is logical, people take very long to believe. They take very long and they have, you have to convince them. You have to convince them why you are not wrong. And uh, when a regime reaches that level, it, it will really affect the overall well-being of people that is socially, uh, politically, and even economically. Whereby, people, if people cannot trust what the government is saying, then what makes you think that an investor outside the country will trust that country to come and do their business? So you can see that the overall impact is not only limited to uh, this kind of, of things like an acting criminals protest but it is also affecting the whole tra trajectory of where the country is going and for me I'm not very sure I cannot say that I agree uh, that the government really captured the culprit neither do I deny but it will also be a lot of work for that the government will have to, to convince me that indeed he is the one and uh, as much as they brought evidence there are a lot of things they put on the table but we have uh, to be very cautious we have to be very cautious because the timing of that uh, uh, that arrest or that capture of that individual also speaks a lot you remember it was just a day before protests began and the process had really been enraged and really polarized by the fact that there are other people who are also being found dead when the very protesters are very angry that some of them have been killed and the government seem not to be interested even in catching up with the culprits especially the police who are involved in killing uh, this individual so that is my opinion in regard to what is happening in our country, especially in regard to the uh, arrest of the person who is in, alleged to be involved in the killing of people at Quarry. I don't know what you think about this. Please feel free to share your opinion in the comment box so that we can continue with this kind of conversation. Remember, at the Socrative TV, we explore, discuss, and discover the hidden stories shaping our political landscape. Until we meet again, Bye-bye.